What is up, Shade Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. We just woke up, we got dressed. I had no idea where we were going. Jen just said if I was gonna go with her, get dressed. So I got dressed, and then I was like, where are we going? So she told me <laughs> that we're going to go to her mom's, pick up Kathy, and take her to one of her doctor's appointments. I had no idea where we were going. I just got up and got ready. So I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go wherever you're gonna go. I apologize for the past two vlogs. It's been really boring and not really long. I'm gonna make sure today is a lot better than the past two vlogs I've been uploading. It is super cold outside, so I have to wear this big fluffy jacket. I seen myself in yesterday's vlog when I was editing, and I was just like, I actually look really good with this jacket on. Or coat, jacket, whatever you want to call it. What would you call this? That's the question for the day. <laughs> what is this? Is this considered a jacket or a coat? I call it a jacket. To me, it's a jacket. I'm coming. Oh, I was like, you ready? You got everything? Yeah. Shirt? Yeah. Oh, it's so cold. Put your seat belt on. Always make sure when you get in a car, put your seat belt on. I know you probably don't like wearing a seat belt, but you know, it keeps you safe. I don't like it because it always like goes in my neck. And, like, and it like scratches right here on my neck, like this part right here. It always goes like this and rubs against my neck and it hurts. So sometimes when I'm sitting in a car, I pull it out like this. So that way it doesn't do that to my neck. I think where this fluffy jacket kind of helps that because it like goes right here. So I don't have to pull down on it. So how are you this morning? Good. Oh, well, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot lately. Yeah, I have too. I don't know if it's just like something that we're allergic to inside the house. Maybe the last people that lived there had like a certain animal. It's bringing our allergies out or something. I don't know. But who knows what it is because everybody's been sneezing. Maybe it's just allergies. I swear I'm always forgetting everything. Well, I charged up my batteries. Well, this one that I have in the camera, it was supposed to be fully charged and it like went down one bar. So I have like three bars left for the battery, which I don't even know how it died. The other battery, I had it fully charged and I had it sitting on the dresser right beside my cold Pepsi that I just got out of the fridge and I forgot it sitting in the bedroom on the dresser. And who asked if you had everything? Because I thought I did. I thought for sure I picked it up and put it in my pocket and I just checked my pockets, it's not in my pockets. And then I realized, wait, I also forgot my cold Pepsi that I left on the dresser. And that was the whole point I got the Pepsi out of the fridge because I've been waiting for it to get cold. And now I left it there and it's gonna get all hot again. I need to like make a list of every time I go out and then need to check market. <laughs> got a battery, got phone, got, got drinks, everything. <laughs> I'm gonna start asking you, you got batteries, you got phone, you got drinks, you got, I, I mean, I asked if you had everything. I asked, are you I know, ready? I thought I had everything. I, I, I legitimately, I was like, are you ready? I really thought I had everything. Yeah. I thought for sure I literally went to the dresser and picked up my battery, but I guess I didn't. I guess when I'm changing my clothes, I looked over at the dresser and I seen my battery sitting there and I guess I know where I seen that I thought maybe I did pick it up put it in my pants pocket but I didn't it's probably still sitting there right beside my Pepsi we'll swing back by after our drop <laughs> I'll, I'll just grab mom and then go to the house and then go over made it to Kathy's Hi. Meow. You my kitty cat away. Well, hi Mango Mango Kathy said that she accidentally let the cats out and two went outside and this is the first time two's ever been out and he hasn't came back. We'll see if we can look around for him. This will be his first time ever being outside so he has no idea what to do. Two, two. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Two, two. What are you doing, Cleo? Are y'all some food? Look, there's a Cleo look-alike. Have we ever named that one? The little tan one? <laughs> what? Oreo? That's... Mango. Stopping at the house really quick so I can get my Pepsi and my camera battery. Yep, right there. Battery and a Pepsi.
<laughs> truck just parked right there behind Jen. This woman come up and she was damn determined that she was gonna get that spot. Mom was showing her she wasn't. And we pulled in and she come up to the window, pat her on the window, going, That's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Mom says it looks like it's mine now. <laughs> yep, I know what she said. She says it looks like it's mine now. Was that mine? Look right. Nope, nope, nope. fuck. Aww. They even have like a little store inside the hospital. It did sound like you said floor. Yeah, it's a floor. Yeah, but it sounded like you said floor. We're going to floor. Floor. Elevator. I like the baby. I took him in today. It's the netting inside this floor. So I can. Elevators. <laughs> Jen hates elevators. I wasn't going to come into the doctors with them. I was actually going to walk over to Northcott where I used to live because it looked like they were tearing down the buildings and I wanted to show that, but it's so cold. Like it's too cold to go anywhere. So I'm like, ah. So maybe if we drive by it, I could try to film going by it and showing you guys. It's just crazy that I used to live there and they're tearing the whole building down. Jen's setting up in a doctor's appointment because she's wanna to try to get her birth control out of her arm. Cause it's, it's making her gain weight and she's messing with everything. She's not really motivated to do anything. And she thinks it's the birth control. She's had it in for like three years, I believe. So she's just finally getting tired of it and she just wants to get it out. Plus like she wants to see if she's able to go have kids. So she's going to end up going to the doctor and see if she's okay that she can actually have kids or she's going to have trouble having kids. She's really wanting to have kids one day. She's got to find out if she can have kids before, you know, she can just go and have kids. Um, I think she said that her mom had issues of trying to get pregnant and her mom had to get help of getting pregnant. Jen's worried that she's going to be in the same position as her mom was. <laughs> You are poked pride and pulled. I know, I know, that's why I'm still nervous. That's why I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna Every talk to him about it. I'm gonna, try to get, drunk. I'm gonna try to get it out at least. Because I also, maybe TMI, maybe bleep it out or something, but I don't have a <laughs> And it's driving me nuts. It could also be a. No one will check my hormones. I, I You went with me that day, and she's like, but there's nothing he can really check. Check me. They're checking mine. They're not checking mine. No one will check mine. It's crazy that I was just talking to the vlog that you were planning on getting your birth control out because you want to see if you're able to have kids. And then you just came out and started talking about it. How my eggs are, how this is. They have like a little food place in here too. They make the amazing popcorn. Which way? All the way down. All the way down. Oh yeah, I see the green. So now where are we going to? Oh. Upstairs, actually, get the blood work. And here's the cafeteria. They usually have some really good food in there. Yeah, I was going to say, hospital food always has the best food. St. Mary's food. Yeah, St. Mary's is better. Oh. I've had St. Mary's, but I don't think I've ever had Cabell's food. I don't think. Oh, I ate it once. I think me and Bill did. I think I've ever been put into the hospital. I think that's the only thing I'd be happy about is food. Like except food, for the, you get like breakfast, lunch, Except for the food dinner. they bring you. Like, the food that they bring you is kind of eh. But when you come down to the cafeteria... I don't think the food that they give you is eh. It's eh. That's why I always try to eat your food when you buy yours. But then, if you don't like something that's not on the menu from when you're on the floor, you can mark it out with hamburger, hot dog, whatever. Keep on snap. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm Jen's trying to snap that filter. Look at that. Look, look, look at me, look at me, look at me. 
Do you see how many hats? Yeah. And guess who dried my blood? Who? The guy that we could wrote up now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had green and blue tape here. And I said, how did you know I have blue? Blue is my favorite color because I took a guess. Yeah, you have a big blue hoodie on. Yeah. And we're done. It took hours. We've been here for 70 hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's like three days. <laughs> okay, we've been here at least 14 hours. That's lost every day. Can you hear that bad? Look how cool. I think I show you guys this all the time. We were all the way up there. Oh, up there. these big giant chocolate hearts that's a big huge one how much you think that is the big huge one probably really expensive I'm, gonna go find that. I'm gonna say 60 bucks I was gonna say like 50 bucks oh my gosh it's so oh, big it's heavy. as long as you're taking pictures with items you can of people you're not allowed to inside of a hospital okay it's oh. against the law what is that I don't know what it is it looks like a pillow that's crazy. That's the area that I was telling you guys about that I was going to go to, but it's just way too cold to walk. Me and Jenny actually used to live here. They used to have more buildings, but they tore them all down. And that was like the last building that was left. The other day, I was like, I should walk over here because I want to see <coughs> if I can go to it and like look at it. But then now, like, they're already tearing it down. I don't get what this left turn is for. This run right here. What's the left turn for? It goes to nothing. It goes to a building. Can you I gotta go to White Way. Can I turn into the building? <laughs> Good thing I did pick up my other battery because my battery just dies. So I had to switch my battery. I noticed lately that when I'm talking or I'm talking about something, I literally forget what it's called. The whole like heart chocolate thing. Jen had a certain name for it. And it's like it just completely left my mind. Like I had no idea what it was called. I hate when I do that because I do that all the time. And it's like, I know what to say, but then like when I go to say it, it's like my mind just goes blank. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? Like, what is my issue? That's the main reason why I take memory medicine because I completely forget everything. I forget how to pronounce something or I'd be talking and what I was saying would go blank. For example, I could be like coming to this gas station like, it's called a gas station, but I would literally forget what it's called. I don't know if everybody does that. If you do deal with that, how do you deal with it? Like, do you take certain medicine or do I have to, like, take quizzes for my mind and play... For example, I'm just doing it now. Ah! But also, this sums up what why we're so worried about 2, where 2 is, because Gabrielle was actually thinking about trying to bring 2 over to the house. And two is the one that's actually missing right now. So hopefully he'll end up showing up or something. We don't know how to tell Gabrielle that, you know, two is kind of missing. I was sitting here thinking, and I think the reason why I always mess up when I'm talking, when I'm vlogging, is I get too excited. Instead of like calming down and thinking about what I'm going to say and everything, I get so excited because... I like vlogging, like that's what I love doing. I think that's the reason why I mess up on my words and I forget things very easily when I'm talking. When I'm not on camera, I can talk completely fine, but when I start the vlog, it's when I get like really excited and I mess up on my words and everything. I need to like try to take a deep breath and think about what I'm gonna say and then go at it like that, if that makes any sense. This lady pulled up and looked over and she was looking right at me and so I just ignored her and continued to vlog and talk to you guys. She just kept looking at me and she gave me this like weird look like, what is this person doing? That's another thing, I need to get back in the habit of not caring what other people think. Being able to record in front of people, out in public, and not get embarrassed or... I'm not embarrassed about carrying around a camera or anything like that, it's mostly I'm shy. I'm very awkward, I have social anxiety. And it's hard to deal with. This year, I'm going to try my best to get out of that. I'm never going to get anywhere if I'm going to continue to be shy all the time. I need to get unshy and stop being socially awkward. That is one of my other goals that I planned for this year. Look, you can see Oreo peeking her head out. Look, she's so cute. 
Oh, Oreo. She always looks mad though. Yeah, she has like a grumpy face. See if she how she reacts when she hears the door open. Oh, oh. she's running. She yep, got there she goes. And we dropped Kathy home. Oh, <laughs> Cleo. Aw. Look where we came to. Arby's. They have the meats. <laughs> In that hole. What hole? That divot right there? The divot? No. Divot? My ankle almost twisted in. Jen's getting her Dr. Pepper. I might get some orange fan. Oh, you're gonna put my straw in for me? Yeah. Thank you. You're Love this song. So I'm excited for tomorrow because we get our new phone cases. I can no longer have this phone case because every time I look at this, it makes me think that it's Jen's phone. Because like, this is the phone case that she was using when she used this phone. But I can't wait to show you guys the new phone case. Mm, look at this. So they have buffalo boneless wings. Here are Arby's. I can't open it right now. <laughs> Yeah, usually I can just like do it with one hand and pop it open. Look at those. Look at all that buffalo sauce. And then I got a turkey gyro. Jen got a Reuben with some little sliders. And I got some fries. Here comes the first one. They smell really good. Good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try it. That's my phase. Okay, I definitely recommend these. Come to Arby's and try it. Why? Yeah, they're pretty spicy, but they're so good. And we made it home. Home sweet home. <laughs> Why is that mat always like messed up every time? It's either all the way over here, or it's somewhere over there, or and it's flipped over now. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on with my nose right here. It's been doing that for like the past month. It just stays red right here. It's really annoying because it looks like I have like sores, but it's not. It's just red. Unless it's dry skin. Could be possibly dry skin. Gotta go share my video to all my social medias really quick. Got my video shared to all my social medias. I mean, what time it is now? Time to annoy Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to do this to my sister. I you were gonna fart. <laughs> no, I used to do this to my sister. I would go up to her. She would be sitting there and I'd be like, smell my feet. <laughs> I would stick my foot right in her face. Why? And one time she started crying. <laughs> I could see why. <laughs> when, when did you flash into your socks um, when you did it? I don't know. That's when I used to wear my socks for like a month. Don't bring it to me. <laughs> A sock is not supposed to stand up. There's supposed to be a sock, they're supposed to like... <laughs> Ew, it's like a butt in there. Ew. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the socks are not supposed to do that. Because, Shane. It's because I wear my shoes all the time. Shane, look at those. <laughs> There's a ghost in them. <laughs> That's disgusting, it's you fool. I, I wear shoes all the time, and then I wear socks all the time. I don't take them off ever except when I go to bed. And then when I get up, I just put them back on because... Change your socks. I used to wear them for just a month. We have socks. And until they we start have holes. socks. He does not need socks. We have plenty of socks. <laughs> Why don't you change those socks? It's just not a thing I think about that, oh, I need to go change my socks. I can't believe I'm going to touch them right now. <laughs> what are you going to do? Hey, bitch. Look at this. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> 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 he was like, are socks not supposed to do that? I'm in the trash. <laughs> I've only worn them for a week. <laughs> only a week? You're not supposed to wear for a week. Oh, nasty. It looks like they were soaking wet and you left them out in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look at them. That's gross. Throw them in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
Of my nail. <laughs> they actually don't, though. Yeah, sure. That's that's incredible. Smell them and see I'm if they not stink. Smelling them, you smell them. That's not normal. They don't smell. It's just because I wear shoes all the time. Hell no! You <laughs> yeah, could wear shoes all the time. We all wear shoes all the time. And our socks never do that. Put them in front of the door. They just stood there, and I'm like, Ew, look how white my feet are. <laughs> They're so white and pale. Shane. Shane tried to put his foot in my face. And I almost <laughs> bit it because I thought it was, I don't know why, but I thought it was his hand. So I almost bit his foot. Hang on, spread them out to where it looks like a person's. <laughs> Growing up, I was not used to having socks to change into, and I would wear them for like a month. Now, like, since I got with Jen, she's got on to me about changing my socks. And I wore these ones for two weeks so far. And I was gonna end up changing them, I promise. At least I changed my underwear. I changed my underwear like every single day. But my socks, that's one thing I don't really think of. Does that make me have bad hygiene? I mean, in a way, yes. Yeah, am I gonna have to remind you every day to change your socks? <laughs> Just put it on a big old note, change your socks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if everybody started sending me socks in the mail? We have socks. I can show you the big bag of socks that we have. You just have to match them. So I haven't matched them yet. Here's a question for everyone. How long do you wear your socks? And how long is the longest you have wore the same pair of socks? Don't tell me I'm the only one that does that. There's no way I, I'm the only you're person. I'm the only one in the whole world that does that unless, besides homeless people that can't afford socks. Just don't even think about homeless it. Even at homeless shelters, even that place we go like to get food and stuff, you, they give you socks. I know, but it's just not a thought that, oh, I need to change my socks. But my feet don't stink, though. If they was stunk really bad, then I would know to change my socks. Dirty? Like, I'm putting on new socks. Do you see how they're not standing up on their own? Yes, and I, I bet you, in two days. That's why you change them. It'll you, stand up. But if your feet do that, you need to change your socks every day, then. In two days, okay, it will literally do days, that. Then you need to change your socks every day. But why do they do that, though? Because you sweat. From your feet. You use your feet. You walk. Just a little update. Kathy said that when she got home, that two actually showed up and he is back home. Two is no longer missing, so that's a good thing. One of my friends ended up sending me this message. I think it's funny, and I'm going to show you guys. They said, oh no, this made me think of you. I remember you singing this a lot in middle school. Oh, mayo. Oh, some shoes. I literally was obsessed with that song in middle school. I would always go around, shoes, shoes, oh my god, shoes, let's get some shoes. These shoes roll, these shoes suck. <laughs> and then there was another one I used to listen to, I like your hair, who does your hair? It's funny that that TikTok made them think of me. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Make sure to put my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.